lurking when these waters near you, there may be hidden dangers. Brush past an octopus or pick up a shell and there may be deadly consequences. So what do all these creatures have in common? Well, they all have an amazing chemical called the tototoxin, or TTX. And we're going to learn all about it to find out whether it's a poison, a venom, or a cure. What is the difference between poison and venom anyway? Simply, both are toxic chemicals, but the way they get into the body is different. Poison needs to be digested or absorbed through the skin, like so. Venoms have to be injected into the bloodstream by a bite or sting, like so. So TTX is both a poison and a venom. So how do all these different animals from the sea and land come to develop the exact same toxin? Scientists think the answer lies in their dinner. Rather than making it, they live in an environment where the bacteria such as Vibrio are known to make TTX, which they can eat and store. But when bred out of their natural environment, like what scientists try to do with pufferfish, they are no TTX at all. So why have these animals have evolved to be, have such a dangerous chemical. TTX gives them huge advantages for hunting and defending themselves. When TTX gets into the body, the first sign is a tingling feeling and numbness. People know something is really wrong when they start to have double vision, headaches, sweating and can start to have trouble reading and swallowing. Depending on how much tox is in the body, people might even go into a coma and stop breathing. The only treatment available is supporting breathing in airways until the toxin wears off. So what's happening in the body? Let's look closer. Nerve cells in the body are shutting down because of how TTX affects the energy gateways into the cell. Here is a cell, and here is the gateway or ion channel. Okay. Nah, it's a sodium channel. What's happening here is that usually the sodium will come up to the gate, the gate will open, and it can easily pass through, allowing the movement of energy within the cell. But when TTX comes along, even though it is much bigger, it seems a lot like sodium to the gate. And instead of passing through, it binds and blocks like a cork, staying in place for much longer and stopping any sodium from being able to get through. The nerve messages to breathe, feel pain, and do essential things in the body cannot get through while it is there. While the TTX does eventually let go, while there is more in the body, it will keep connecting and blocking. Isn't Spectre amazing? Here's one more final tip. As well as being a poison and a venom, TTX can also be used as a future cure, or at least a very powerful treatment against pain. So in this wonderful world, we need to remain vigilant to spot the day and to learn about the amazing chemical and also maybe to figure out if we can use it to help us.